In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your task groups, tasks, and I'm also going to describe how they're used. Okay, I'm logged in, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the yellow background oil can. And I'll notice that I have five screen tabs. Starting with tab number one, task groups. Okay, so what are task groups? Task groups are similar to equipment groups part groups and failure cause groups. Their primary function is to give you a way to filter for a particular task in this case. So it will limit the amount of items in the drop down uh, box when you're creating a work order for example or a preventive maintenance task item. So let's go ahead and we'll create one. Click the new button and I think we'll create lubrication tasks and you could just put lubrication or you could put the word tasks at the end okay so when you create a group uh, usually you're usually gonna want of course more than one item otherwise it's not gonna be a group and probably less than say 30 to 50 if you get too many tasks in there then it doesn't really serve its purpose of filtering adequately now the program doesn't care how you set this up and that's just a recommendation. Okay, and usually you should start off with your task groups. Start off with the most generic type of things that you do. For example, you might want to create something called mechanical tasks. Um, another one that's pretty generic would be electrical. Okay, and we already had safety in there and lubrication is getting a little more specific and you may get more specific yet you may create one called bearing tasks now what you don't want to do or at least you want to try to avoid is creating a task group that's specific to a particular piece of equipment in some cases that'll be necessary but only if the tasks for that equipment are only ever done on that equipment the idea here is reusability. We want to keep these text items as reusable as possible. That'll reduce clutter and confusion a year, two years, five years from now. Okay, so if we want to edit a task group, we just select the row and make our change and then save it. That's it. All right, let's move over to tasks. So tasks are contained within a task group. So let's go ahead and create a task. I'm going to create a lubrication task. And I'll start with check oil level and gearboxes. Okay, well, if we had a gearbox task group, we might want to put it there. But we don't, and I think this will be fine. So I'll click Save, and so we've added that task. And let's go ahead and add a few more. Okay, so there's a few of them in there. Now what happens if we are in here typing away and we put the task in the wrong group? Okay, so we put in replace light in the lubrication task. Again, it's very simple to edit a record. Just select the row. Works the same throughout the program. And pick pick electrical. Actually, I think I'd probably put that in a lighting task, but we don't have one yet, so in the interest of time we'll just move it that way so as you can see it's now in this electrical task group okay so again same with task tasks as we as I described with task groups you want to keep them generic It's very important to do that so you wouldn't want to come in here and say um, oil chain on conveyor 
uh, number one. You wouldn't want to do that because now when we go to use this task for our work orders or our PMs, the task only is appropriate to conveyor one. So that really defeats the whole purpose of the reusability aspect. Um, there may be an instance where you actually include the equipment in there or the type of equipment, oil chain on conveyor. Um, again, the program's not going to complain, but just to keep things uh, efficient, especially down the line, uh, years from now, you'll end up with many thousands of tasks if you do that, and it'll be very confusing uh, to, to operate this system. So focus on that. Now, when you're creating your tasks, just like the task group, start with your most generic and work towards more specific. So, for example, if we have uh, electrical tasks, let's just go with that, um, check wire terminals for example, pretty generic. And we may move to more specific, um, replace contactor. That's a little bit more specific. I see I misspelled contactor, but that's alright. Oh, I can use my spell checker. Okay, there, fixed it. Okay, um, and we may even get more specific. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we're, we're gravitating more to, towards more specific tasks as we go along. So try to do that. Now one other thing on the tasks that's pretty important. Uh, suppose you at some point, and likely you will at some point, have you know, over 50 or 100 or more tasks in here. And you need to add another one. And for example, uh, you need to create a lubricate chain, for example, task. So you come in here and you start entering lubricate chain, but then you think, well, wait a minute. What if there's already another task in there that represents the same thing? And in this case, we already have oil chain. But if it's hidden down below here, or if you have quite a few tasks, what you can do here is right-click on the column header, do quick grid search, and just type in some word that would be common to both the uh, existing task and the one you're considering. So I'll just type in chain, and I see, okay, I've got, oh, I've already got duplicates here. And I've got this one in the wrong group. So I've already got a little issue here I need to deal with. So in any event, I'll go ahead and delete that. Okay. All right, so um, moving along, um, we've gone through adding task groups, editing task groups, adding and editing tasks, and now I'm just going to talk briefly about how tasks are used. So the tasks are shared between the preventive maintenance system, and that's this tab number five where we create our calendar-based quick and dirty PMs and the work order system. So I'll go to the work order screen, I click new, and well, there's my tasks. There's oil chain, so I can use that. Well, how about that? I'm already in business. I can already create a work order. And if I go into my preventive maintenance, I can use my filter. And you can see that same task is there. So they're shared between the work order system and the PM system. 